Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Politically, I would categorize myself as a libertarian. I don't like being told what to do. And uh, I, I empathize with both sides of the aisle as, as much as I can. I actually saw somewhere that uh, the reason that cities are so much more democratic and like regulation than uh, rural areas are because of how close people live together, which I think is pretty interesting because if you are living right above somebody, you don't, <laughs> you need regulation for them to like turn down their, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what um, people do in the cities, but um, people seem to need the regulation the closer they are together, you know, uh, and if you're living in the country, then, you know, and your neighbor's two miles down the road, then you don't care what he does. I think a lot of it depends on where you're at and, you know, the views that you were brought up with. And, you know, you always have the people that naturally want to rebel. rebel. Uh, I, I try not to commit to one party because because I don't want to be a wasted vote. Uh, I want to actually look at what the um, person coming into office has to offer. So I don't attach myself to any specific party when when voting season comes around. So 10 years ago, I would have said that I'm super liberal. Now I think of myself as being positioned more in the middle somewhere. In fact, I feel like a lot of the time, I feel like I'm kind of an alien doing this sociological study of humanity on planet Earth. And I'm just watching all of these strange customs and dialogues unfold. And for me, now I'm seeing more and more that a lot of political tension, not all political tension, just seems to like arise out of people trying to meet different human needs. And, you know, sometimes that goes too far, clearly. But I guess I'm more concerned Politically, I'm more interested in the question of how to make everybody understand that and get on the same playing field where we have a language of understanding and validating each other and, you know, having some sort of synthesis arise out of that. So that's one thing that I actually, maybe one of like the top five reasons that I'm drawn to personality theory. It's like, it seems like it could provide us with a way of making sense of both ourselves and other people in a way that validate both perspectives. So that's where I'm coming from with that question. I'm more or less more libertarian and like the old school libertarians where I guess I'm slightly right leaning. And, but for the most part, I want to keep the government out of my business, keep it out of other people's business. And that's the, you know, government that governs less is the best, right? Pinning myself down to like, like let's say like a spot in the political spectrum is kind of hard. But like, if we're going with like two dimensional, right? I'm like center left, so I, hate identity politics you know like i'm all for uh progressive policy like gay marriage and abortion and stuff though it's a bit it's a bit more uh, complicated than that but yeah center left if i had to pin it down it's a bit more complex than that religiously i would categorize myself as a christian i'm i'll tell i'll, I'll tell you what i uh really like is uh there's a uh i think the philosopher Kierkegaard, I'm sure I'm saying his name wrong. Actually, I think that may have been right. Kierkegaard has a quote uh, that says, if, if, if there was proof that a god was real, then I wouldn't believe a god was real. <laughs> uh, and I um, think that's really fantastic. Fantastic. I think um, when, you, when you don't know and you don't have all the information, I clearly don't. I don't, I don't think anybody does. Uh, I don't know. I think the religious proofs are pretty hilarious for that reason. But it just seems to me like one of those things where you have the free will to decide if you want to be an atheist or Christian or whatever religion you want to be because you, you really don't know at the end of the day. I'm comfortable talking about it, but I also don't think I have a solid answer. It's something that I'm kind of sorting through right now. So... I grew up in a religious household and then had sort of the expected flip, like the resistance to it, literal devil's advocacy. <laughs> Maybe not literal, but yeah, I just felt really resistant. And now I'm coming back to a place where I feel more and more spiritual with like each passing year. But I find it like very hard to encapsulate into words. So that's something that's kind of in progress. And that's probably the most I can say without, yeah, without misrepresenting myself. Uh, I actually am a practicing Catholic. If, if we're going to define God as, as, as a being, right, then I, I, don't, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in, in a deity, I guess you could say. 
I do believe that there are things beyond concrete articulation and that we're ever that we're always striving towards a more clear uh, uh, definition of, of morals and ethics and you know what should what's right and what's wrong you know in part that's what that's what the law is but it's so hard to to so clearly define it and encompass all of the the variables of life that it, it lags you know centuries behind what the scheme that we use to interact with other people every day so i do believe that there's a basis to uh, what people might call god but that there that it's not um, an entity but rather a very a very general understanding of uh, human nature hey guys it's joshua and austin and thank you guys so much for watching this hopefully awesome piece of content please feel free to like subscribe and share and we cannot wait to see you guys on the next video take care